Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen Prince. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how I did my hair. Now this is not just a regular wash and go. These are micro loop extensions sent over to me from Y Wigs. I absolutely love them. The texture match is amazing and it's giving natural hair, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how I did that, so stay tuned. So this hair was sent over to me from a company called Y Wigs. I got three bundles of their kinky curly 24 inch hair and the hair comes in the natural color. All the information for the hair will be on the screen so you can know exactly what kind I got. But this is what it looks like straight out the pack. It looks so natural. When I saw this hair, I was like, oh my God, this is like... <laughs> my hair texture so i was so excited to install this into my hair and the fact that they are micro loop extensions is going to make the process so much easier having that um, loop that's on the end of the extension that's already included they also sent over some pliers some extra beads and some other little tools like a crochet hook and a beading needle so before I installed the hair, I did go ahead and wash the hair and this is what it looks like washed. So, so pretty. Also, I like to separate my hair beforehand so that it makes the installation process that much easier. It's so much easier to just pick up one and grab it as you go along. So please separate your hair before you start. Okay, so before installation, I like to section off my hair. So I have a U part here for my leave out and then I section out my perimeter. So the sides and then also the nape of my neck. I had already got it started. I was so excited. But what I do is I separate my hair into sections because that's what works best for me. So I part down the middle and then I have two, three subsections in the back actually. And then when I get to the side, then I have two subsections on the side. So this is what the mechanism of the extension actually looks like. There's this small little loop that's inserted inside of a bead that's connected to a piece of hair. And this is the part that you're gonna use. This is the piece that you tug on to actually install the extension into your hair, which I'm gonna show you now. So now for the installation process. So you can see here that I have most of my hair installed already. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I did that later explaining like how many rows and stuff I have in my head. So if you want to duplicate this look, you can. But what's important here is that you make clean parts. So when you're sectioning off your hair, please make your parts as clean as possible so that you don't have any um, small loose hairs getting stuck in unwanted sections. So section your hair off and part it neat, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try to have your parts neat. So now you're gonna to wanna to make a small section to attach the extension to. I'm doing this size because this is the amount of hair that works for me in order for me to pull the hair through the bead. You don't want the section too thick or else it won't go through the bead, okay? So I'm gonna take the loop, open it up and place it over my hair and then pull my natural hair through the plastic loop. Then I'm gonna hold on to the bead that's it connected to the extension and then there's the bead that pulls the extension through then I'm going to just pull it out then I slide the bead up while smoothing my natural hair down and I place the bead as close as I need it to be but not too close I place it comfortable to where it's not tight on my scalp once the bead is in a comfortable position, I take the pliers and I clamp it closed. Now, when you clamp this bead closed, please make sure you clamp the whole bead. So make sure the top of the bead is closed as well as the bottom of the bead is closed. And that's how you're gonna get them to be on there securely. And that is literally it. That is how you attach your hair. <laughs> it's so simple and I love it. I think this is like one of my favorite new ways of attaching extensions okay i love it so much now let me show you what i did to add more volume um i wanted a big hair okay so what i would do is i will attach the regular length to my hair as normal like i just showed you but on certain rows i would create something that i called a double 
To create the double, I will just section my natural hair out. So I will move it out of the way after I clip on the extension. And then I'm gonna take a piece of the actual extension hair and I'm just gonna go ahead and add another piece onto that just as if I was adding it into my natural hair. So put the loop around the hair, hold on to one bead and then pull through and then shimmy the bead up to the root of the actual extension. So push it all the way up right about there. That's far enough. And then I will just clamp it closed. And that's how I create a double. And that's how I added more volume to my hair. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to actually remove these things or even if you make a mistake and clamp the bead too low, this is how you adjust it. So what you wanna do is take the pliers and place them on the sides where the bead is flat and you wanna squeeze it and open the bead back up to make it back into a circle and that way you can move the hair up and down or remove the extension itself. And it's literally that easy. Okay, so there's actually one more tip that I want to show you guys. So, like I said, they sent over some tools and they sent over this very small crochet hook, which actually fits through the bead of the extension. Now, if ever somehow the little plastic loop came out of the extension, this is how you reattach it. So, all you want to do is stick the crochet hook through the bead on the extension grab the little plastic string and pull it through the hoop and now you have the extension just as it came okay so don't be alarmed if one of those things come out and actually save them because i am going to reinstall this hair and when i reinstall this hair i'm going to put all those loops back on just so it's an easy install just as if i did it the first time so you just saw me attaching some pieces in the back Use the two mirror method to go ahead and do the back of your head. Now, I just want to explain to you how I was adding the singles and the doubles. So this is what it looks like when I got to the halfway point in my head. The first two rows, I did only single extensions. And then the next rows going all the way up, I did all doubles. So I have doubles on all of the rows except for the first two at the very bottom. And then the row at the top, the last row at the top are singles. So that's how I installed my hair. So I repeated that same thing for the side subsections. The first two rows are singles and then the rows after that are doubles. And then the last row at the top is one row of single extensions. Okay, so after I finish adding all the hair in, this is what it looks like. It looks very big, but don't worry about that for now. You're going to get the results that you saw in the front of the video. If you want to add more or less hair, that's up to you. But I really like big hair. Be aware of how the hair will dry, though. So keep that in mind when you're installing based on your wants. And boom, all of that hair has now turned into this. Okay, so now I'm going to explain to you how I style this hair okay so i'm on my last section so this is how i define the hair so i'm just unraveling it okay then i just saturate the section with the water you want it to be really really wet when you first do it okay so then i'm going to take some leave-in conditioner like that much now I'm just going to detangle it so you want to hold the hair before you start to brush it that way you're not putting any excess tension on your hair and stuff like that on your links so just hold it and then brush down always detangle from the bottom going up and then just continue to detangle that section.
and then I'm going to use some foam and put it all in this section like three pumps. And then I'm going to use some Eco Sour Gel, like that much. Rub it in my hands, rake it through the section. And then I'm going to do, you know, the little crane hands motion. And I'm going to do that about five times. Okay, so that's what we're looking like now. Now I'm gonna focus more on my leave out. Okay, so what I do here is just do the same exact steps that I did for the extensions, but just in further detail to give my hair more definition, I'll just add a little bit more product and do the same exact things. And that is pretty much it. Next, I style my baby hairs how I want it. And then that is it, you guys. I absolutely love this hair. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It is really giving natural hair. If anyone asks me if this is my hair, I'm going to lie to them and tell them <laughs> and tell them yes. Okay, you can't tell me this is not my hair. But if you guys have any questions about this install, any questions about the hair, please let me know down in the comment sections what questions you want answered. Also, all the information for this hair will be in the description box. So check the link in the description box to get this hair and thank you guys for watching my channel thank you for the support i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you guys later bye